What up guys, welcome back to part 12 of our Thorgrim Grudgebearer Let's Play campaign in which we are attempting to reclaim all of these lost realms. Uh, we left off last time with Thorgrim successfully capturing Crooked Fang Fort, awaiting a uh, name change by the way, and we are going to attack Imric. I'll provide another quick overview, so we have an army being recruited here that's going to get into the back settlements of the Knights of Kalidor. We got Kazador ready to continue to fight the ogres with his Ogre destroying army. We have Grothog Maw getting ready to go assist the Empire against the Vampire Counts, specifically Balthazar here, and we'll help him. I'll be gifting most of these settlements to him, and I would like to own Blackwater. Yanni. Yanni's sort of just going to be holding here, potentially going to war with Aranessa in a few turns. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, Wood Elves here, so we're just going to hold. And ensure the safety of the Western Badlands with Yanni potentially pushing through this pass right here, past Fort Saul, to assist our allies against the forces of evil. Uh, quick disclaimer, I was away for a while due to being in Boston with my girlfriend. We had an excellent trip. Just figured I'd let you know. Sad to see we're missing pottery as a trade good, so we'll have to find some of that either via trade or conquest. So, with that said, we're going to move in here. I believe Thorgrim is not 100%. The ranged units are. A waste of talents. And it wouldn't be an easy battle, I don't think. Although they don't have AP damage, right? So, yeah. Very little armor-piercing damage. So they really wouldn't hurt us too bad with our range. Plus all of our units have... Well, most of our units have shields. So yeah, we're going to dive into this battle here. Looks like he'll stay and fight. Close victory, medium. We lose troops. That's not acceptable. So let's get into this fight. Thorgrim Grudge Bear has taken the opportunity to intercept Imric before he can regroup with another army and press his assault on our lands. Now is the time to strike. Let's take a look at his uh, his forces here. He's got some Dragon Princes, which they do look beautiful. I mean, I have to admit, Dragon Princes are a good-looking unit. Got Imric on his dragon. He's got that sun dragon over there. Looking epic. And we got our boys. We got our dwarf warriors all lined up. Ready to go. Our gyro bomber's gonna try and explore a little bit. We're gonna lay some shots in on the enemy. We're gonna see some, some very effective shots come in. Yeah, they're going to feel the effect of some of these shots, as you can tell. Cannonballs raining in, running through people. Shots on the left. Their advance is definitely risky. They're going to open fire on our gyro bomber, but we're drawing them in. We're drawing them in. We'll continue to follow their advance. Big shots coming in. Not doing that much damage, though. Surprisingly. Not doing all that much damage. We're gonna have some clusters start forming. That's a really good, uh... uh it's just a very good spell. Piercing bolts of burning right there. They're gonna line up here. As you can see, we're getting shots in as they approach. The dragon princes are getting cut down. Very nice breath attack there. Our Zufbar Pounders are going to get around in here, I'm pretty confident of that. Zagram notices this clump up. Thorgrim's engaging right now. Really sick overview of that shot there on those rangers. Here comes the shot. Heavy damage done to those boys. Shots raining in, we're still laying our shots off. Iron Drake's doing a great job. Our backline is being disrupted heavily by flyers, though. The flying units were definitely an issue. And uh, Thorgrim is having a hard time against Imric. Our Quarlers are going to focus their fire now on him. We're going to focus a bunch of fire on him, actually. Gyrocopter, everybody. Zagram, we're all shooting at him. 
adjust our focus to this eagle. Definitely doing some damage to our own troops, but I have to get rid of this stuff. Dragons coming in. Causing a lot of trouble for our back line, as you'd imagine. Still raining shots in on these uh, archers here while they pour shots over. You can see our iron drakes laying into enemies. We're doing a good damage. We're doing very good damage to their their units. Imric is struggling. Zagram is gonna get wounded there. He was picked up and taken down by Imric too fast for me to really react. This is a nice cluster though, it's gonna get hit by our 42 pounders. I believe it did. The breath attack there raining in, it's tough. Tough stuff. The eagle's coming in our flank. Iron Drake's trying to finish this eagle off. It's almost dead. It wants to go. It wants to go. Bye bye. Freshly cooked eagle. You can see our artillery's still raining in shots. Big cluster battle over here. Emric's about to go down. The focus fire has become too much for him. He's getting ready to rout. Another 42 pounder coming on the edge there. A really nice shot down that line. Ingram's still hitting. That Sun Dragon's still fighting too. Can't seem to kill Ingram, uh, Imric right now. Good shots on those spearmen on their flank. Artillery's still putting in work. Look at this. Imric is about to fall. A couple more shots. Is he gonna make it? Throwing dwarves. He rises up just to come back down. Let a breath attack loose. Doesn't hit too many of our units there. Flamers start moving in our Iron Drakes. Imric lands and he's about to die. 69 health. For the cheeky lad. He's about to fall, and there he goes. Imric is down. The army losses has been inflicted. Victory is ours this day. Well, safe to say I'm a little rusty after Boston. <laughs> we have a wounded hero. Sagram is definitely immortal though, so it's fine. We lost the Gyro Bomber. That was going to be hard to defend with all the range and their flyers. Uh, otherwise, you know, we did all right. It, it's not the end of the world, but we can't push now. We're going to have to recover. So I'll take Oath Gold and money. Good. Grimnir's axe first. I could press on and fight again, but I have a feeling the auto resolve is going to lead to deaths. And I don't really... How hard would this battle be, though? If don't, it's not that hard if I don't auto-resolve it. We may be following up immediately. We got Grudge against the Elves, which we probably didn't even need. This is his last skill point. We could get more Missile Resist. He hasn't been getting shot too much, though. I mean, he's got pretty much everything he needs. Leadership doesn't matter. The vigor loss reduction for the army is pretty good. I'll get that. Our troops will not tire as easily. Retake the realms. All right, better charge, I suppose. Sure. We tend to just ship him off into the combat. Throw All right, hopefully we don't lose troops. Rich. Yeah, no. See, that's just far too many. It's mostly archers. This shouldn't be a hard battle. Let's take care of business. Thorgrim continued his pursuit of Imric's remaining forces, and we are here to destroy them. Artillery shells raining in. Really doing good damage to these units here. Their dragon is the only dangerous unit that remains. And we're going to keep putting shots in on them as they approach. We couldn't eliminate the archers at first, but you could see the rounds fall eye in. Doing pretty good damage to everybody. 10 elves flying. They shouldn't get up. Yeah, they're done. So more rounds coming in. Explosive rounds. 
turning elves to mush. They begin firing. I do have to pull some of my troops back eventually, but their dragon's also going to take fire, and it's going to go down pretty quickly. You're going to see it fall from the sky. It doesn't even get close. Down it goes. As more artillery shells rain out against our foes. Got some big outside views. Just elves getting thrown. Yes, Thorgrim is doing okay. Cutting down spearmen. Him and Arthane. Snorri Morgrimmel. The Iron Drakes launching their flames at the enemy. Soaking up arrows with their heavy armor. They're not concerned about our non-armor-piercing missiles. Drowning the enemy in a hail of fire. Like, look, they're taking damage, right? But the entities are still pretty good. I wasn't afraid to push them up. Massive damage done. Without Imric as their leader, massive damage. Army loss is ready to come in soon. We got the artillery sending more elves flying. There it is. Quick little cleanup. Nice, easy, clean up there. I'm gonna continue to take money and oath gold. So that eliminates that faction there. That, uh, not that faction, but that army in totality. She'll be recruiting some decent troops there. I should be getting her punishment in friendly territory. I don't necessarily want to run too far away. Although, just, no, I can't take it yes. out of forced march. Which is weird, really strange. I don't want them to attack me. So I'm just going to fall back towards my guy here. And I may jump back towards Crooked Fang Fort. We're going to have to fully recover and maybe even gather some more troops. Think about giving him a better force. There's a lot that can be done. I'll take some more growth here. Time for a reckoning. A lot of stuff will be happening next turn. Let me just check some stuff here. Obviously, growth buildings a little too expensive for my taste right now. Now, this would be good. I have to figure out which of these is getting... I'm sure we're trading all of the goods. Furs, 100%. And the other one is salts. 100%. The value is the same, so it doesn't really matter. I'd prefer to have Varenka Hills more fortified, so that's what we'll go with. Everybody's doing their recruiting. And we're all set and ready to move on. Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts. Frombearers, move. Iron will. Okay, some stuff done there. I moved Thorgrim back. I was always going to be doing that. We have a rank gained for our runesmith in here. Excellent. Let's throw an engineer in here. Decent little army here. I kind of want more slayers. I'm going to give him a slayer unit. Some unbreakable front line to work with this stuff. Some troops to dick around the enemy. And I kind of want just some tough lads now, too. We have AP here. I really just need sturdy guys, so two long beards to close out the force. Yeah, that should be good for Yanni. I don't like Penny Hornigold being there. Ready to do the I don't like that one bit. The runes are ready. All right, sir. We can see basically everything that's happening. Except for what's happening over here, so I guess we'll head towards the moot. Forward. Cross that bridge. Finish recruiting with Groff. We'll be done soon. Sending this guy in there, as he's disciplined. So he'll benefit our troops a bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay. They left that region. Where could they have gone? Why would they leave? I did not see this. I don't even really need to, f to occupy it, per se. Although it's not a bad one to occupy. Onward. For clan honor. 
I mean, with them gone, it should be a decisive victory auto resolve. They probably force march down south, but my garrison's just fine. I will occupy. Let us begin. Get rid of that. For the wisdom of Valea. So we have Grimnir's heirs. That's definitely helpful for our Slayer boys. Speaking of our Slayer boys. To war. We're not close to rank 7 just yet, so we can continue to... Actually, let's let them lose. Let's do obstinacy. I don't want them to lose vigor quickly. Because they are stuck in fights for long periods of time, so... Yeah, and then from Damon's Stump, I don't believe they can... They can't travel the underway. It's the only real way to cross here. Unless they... March their asses up here. Interesting, because I kind of want to take this point and then push south. Uh, so, that's like the most... That's really what I want to do. So. Uh, do I need Corallers? Perhaps. We're moving him towards Karakazul to recruit gunpowder units. He could use a, lo a hero as well. At this point, I'm not going to trade farm. I just want to get a hero in there. So, Hasselfriesen. Hasselfriesen. He's going to get in there. Tough guy. He's black Iron Mine. Ready to get upgraded. Receiving walls and all. As for now, it definitely needs walls. I'm not sure when exactly I'll be able to take Crookback Mountain. I'm going to push to the south first. As they still aren't recruiting here. Summon me if you dare. One more turn for Groth. I thought that was over, though. I thought it was going to be done. Bye. This be so, apologies there. Want to upgrade. I would. I could save a little bit of the cash, but my income's really good, so I sh I'll be able to upgrade most of that. So, I'll build the gunpowder building in Ekrand. And Time let's give him... Ending. Two of those... Just, just two quarrelers. Because he's going to get cannons. For the wisdom of he's going to get cannons. Not everyone's army is going to be as good as Groth's. Groth has to be the guy who cleans out the uh, Sylvania and Blackwater. That's Groth's job. Next turn, he'll make his move there. But the Damon Stump, Kazador's doing an excellent job here. This, this army is very well designed to kill ogres. Yeah, okay, they did slide down there. Which is fine. They're not... They ran away, so they're definitely scared. And they likely forced march, so they're not recruiting. So I'll press them pretty hard next turn. Nearly fully replenished. Okay. Quick look at diplomacy. The Empire. How are we looking in terms of confederations? Angrind is almost ready. Angrind is really close. I don't want them to get destroyed. We have some missions we have to look at. These two are going to be so difficult. I mean, look at that. It's likely because I am in military alliances with them. But I'm strength rank one. Like, you'd think like they would just come to the crown. <sighs> Any peace agreements? No. What? I'm trying to think how I could best do this besides just giving him money. Have you come to pledge me your loyalty? But giving him money might be... No, sorry. Pardon me. Giving him money might be the best way to do it, but it's like 2000 per gift. Um, I mean, how much... My, I mean, those are pretty good relations, right? Hmm. I think I'm just going to throw money at him. Ready. Which I'll try to do. And then we'll get Belagar an army involving some rangers up here. I'll, I'll probably cast out one of the other armies, or just give him one, because we have a lot of money. Okay. We are ready to go. Hopefully Thora can take care of uh, some of these Knights of Kalador here. And then I can heal up just a little. Just a little. And push for some pit with either of these two. Because we want some pit. That, that'll complete this province. So, him, uh, him mobilizing is good. 
I'm gonna sell- I'll openly admit that I believe I messed up the, uh, I bottled the- the confederation of these two. So for now, they'll be our friends. <clears throat> and then I might have to force them into submission. So him at Spike Peak isn't terrible. Very well. For the Karazhan Corps. Oh my god. Yeah, basically the same, so we're gonna just jump here. Get ready to go to some pit. I'm not even gonna worry about recruiting yet. Because I am not worried whatsoever about it. Alright, okay, Gazul, post yourself up in there. You have to get your ass over here. Because we need him to recruit now. Very slowly, but we'll recruit. Two of them, maybe four of these even. It's gonna be very missile focused. Few heroes only. So four of them will put us at 15, 16, then we can get some artillery. Probably two cannons. I don't need anything more than two. And I'll add some more firepower. Alright, Groth is ready. Groth is ready. How can we best get Groth over there? I kind of want to, like, establish a foothold here. First, they have a high military presence here. Oh, here's Grimgore. He's coming. Okay. Well, that isn't good. What? Come down here, please. Oh boy. Time for a reckoning. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> all right, all right. Tough fight for sure. Obviously, it's going to be very, very difficult to kill him. I mean, we have an army that should be able to kill Kolak. It's just he's so beefy. He's so fucking beefy. I definitely need to shoot these guys. I mean, I know they have missile resist, but... How long can our unbreak... Our, un our a lot of Slayers are gonna die here. A lot of Slayers are gonna die, but it's just necessary. I suppose we'll use the garrison. It doesn't really matter, though. I'm not even gonna bother. What kind of map do we have? Okay, terrain's important. We definitely need to funnel them into, like, a large blob. If we could blob our Slayers up appropriately, they won't be able to, like, m splash damage too many entities, I guess. Like, they'll have to cut through us longer, allowing our ranged units to fire for a longer period of time. Let's get into it. We have to fight it. Obey me! Kazador. Falling back towards his, uh, his fallback point. He wanted to stand and see what he was facing uh, from a closer angle before falling back to the rest of his men. You can see the pestilence is spreading in this area. We're getting ourselves set up using this geyser as a bit of a split point so we can have two separate tight fronts, three corollers per front, with our grudge throwers at the back launching hell. Bounce power not looking good, but we'll be alright. I feel like we'll be okay. They summon in a plague bearer of Nurgle. Our slayers immediately begin to go to work. Cutting down the enemy. Little nurgling coming out of that one. You'll see, they're getting cleaved up into pieces. The Slayers know what they're doing. And there goes that unit. Instantly dead. We'll fast forward a wee bit, as they didn't want to advance. They were afraid to advance. They felt like uh, using their summons first. I'm just reforming our lines. The next summon, I believe, comes in over here. There it is. The Plague Bearers of Nurgle emerge from the depths of whatever stinky hell they want to come from. And they're not going to last too long. As they're surrounded by high DPS Slayers. We're gonna cut them down, splitting heads open, taking arms off. Say la vie. And that unit is all but deleted. We got our lord in here, helping them finish the job. And down they go. So now they'll make their advance. Upon our reforming, they're slowly going to advance. Kolek's going to come on in. And uh, we're in for quite the fight here. He is a powerful, powerful character. Take a look at his forces. 
got the Warhounds. Some throwing axes of corn here. The Swords of Chaos. Baby Archaeons just running at you. Kolek himself looking absolutely divine. Just a god. Coming through the trees now. The Marauders and Chaos spawn looking for just blood for the blood god. They are running fast, aren't they? Look at them sprinting. They're making their approach. The Dragon Ogre Shagath's leading the way. Some more chaos spawned through the woods here. Our artillery shells raining in. Taking out some of their marauders as they approach. Hitting a chaos spawn even. Not killing them though. Chariots, more throwing axes coming in. Regular marauder horsemen. They're officially making their approach. Taking out marauders doesn't do much than just slightly boost morale. Because the real problem is once their big boys get in here, our quarrelers are going to start opening fire on these marauder horsemen. They got a little too close for their britches. They're going to just eat bolts. Eat quarreler bolts and fall. They're almost ready to rout as is. They get some shots off. Slayers love it. Give them a chance to die gloriously on the battlefield. More Marauder Horsemen getting shots put into them. And here they come. Here comes Colex on Eater. Big smash. Slayers are eating it up. And the engagement has officially begun. Our general is going to find his way in there, Kazador. He is a dragon slayer. Not quite a dragon, but a dragon ogre. It may have to suffice. Some friendly fire coming in. I didn't really notice that at first. It's unfortunately going to cause a fair bit of damage. You can see Kolek's leadership's dropping. This flank is going much better. We are really dwindling their numbers down over there. And Kolex getting dwindled. Good shots raining in. Kolex's ass is exposed. He's getting chopped down. Our slayers are doing everything they can to hold on. Shots raining in. You can see this flank is struggling. Our quarrelers are going to have to launch their bolts a bit quicker. Everyone's turning to face their fire at this front. Because our slayers here are doing a great job chopping down the enemy. Dragon ogres dropping dead. Chaos spawn dropping dead. They're turning and running away. The ogres. You can see this side still struggle. Focus firing Kolek, just trying to bring that armor down. The big beasts throwing slayers. We catch these ogres as they come right in and they disrupt our back line. They're going to start getting some focus fire. Everybody's starting to leak in. They're leaking in, but our slayers that are alive are going to keep on fighting. The bolts are flying. Kolek's almost done. Their units are getting beat down. This at, this flank is pretty much all but one. We have a unit. We have a single slayer just holding himself in here. Singular slayers doing what they can. Artillery's launching in. You can see the army losses just kicks in. Kolex ready to run for the hills. And we've won the battle. We were able to hold him off. With a fair amount of our troops still left alive. It was a very, very well done job. We just have to clean out these chaos spawn now. A couple some friendly fire is going to come in. Don't judge me. Well, you can judge me. I didn't realize right away. And they still got a few rounds off before I could stop them. But the 
Chaos Spawn are going to get chopped down. Our Slayers are coming in to finish them. They're going to take some shots as well. You're going to see them start to drop. And there they go. The day is ours. Kolek is beaten back. Alright, so we've successfully beaten back Kolek. Not easy. Extremely difficult. We killed a few of his good units in total. The Dragon Ogres in, uh, in particular. Kolek has, I think, very little health left. Uh, money and Oath Gold. And I think we're going to continue to press him. But I have to merge and get ROR's in this army. I think that's going to be the move for Kazador. Absolutely not. Because I do not want Kolek running away, right? So Kazador gets another bonus for Slarge. That's helpful. Slayer Ward. For the wisdom of the so when it comes to the Slayers, Time for a I think we're going to do this. Keep the these two. For war. Keep these three, right? And now it's all ROR's at this point. Now I don't even have that many to actually give to him, so... Really, I mean, obviously the, these guys, the Iron Breakers here, Nor Grimlings Iron Breakers, we need them. It wouldn't hurt to have the Skolder Guard, I suppose. Useful ranged attack with armor piercing damage. I could give him some more frontline units via this route. Even some cheap anti inf like even some like chaff like this, you know. Could be helpful in this type of battlefield. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough with Casador. His army now, I think, can handle it, but... I, mean, I don't want to give him another artillery piece. I, mean, that's... I suppose these miners are going to have to come in here. The Ekron miners are going to the east. Let us begin. Alright, let's... Hook him up. There's two skill points here. Hmm. Let's give him more melee defense. Make him harder to kill. He was a brave, brave leader in taking on Kolek himself. For a bit of that fight. And I guess we can just go in and finish him before, though. Let's take a look at what we can forge, huh? We have over 300, so we can get one of these cool ones. I mean, that would be good for the, you know, anyone fighting against the elves currently, but that's really all it does. Is stop elves. So, no, no there. Alaric's armor could be useful in terms of just getting pure uh, ward save and expert charge defense. That's definitely possible. I think of Grimnir as a very good area of effect. I mean, the leadership is like, eh, like the 12% physical resistance there is good. I kind of want the Scepter of Stone. I feel like it's obviously very good. Summoning an Ancestor is good too, but this is very nice. So I'm going to get that. Having that ability is going to be useful. Kazador needs some kind of world-ending ability anyway. In order to... Uh, For the wisdom of I think the he had the Potion of Healing. That's going to get off of him. We're giving him that. So now he has no way to heal himself, but... That's okay. It'll be alright. The potion of healing has to go to somebody else. What? Somebody that's going to be in combat regularly. Maybe Tecton. Groth has the tankard. Tecton can have it. He's going to be leading an army that will be fighting often. Any ancillaries for Tecton? Just quickly. Sure. Sure. And he's empty, so let's just fill him up. Not going to be fighting greenskins. That's fine. Okay, I suppose. I mean, Slayer Ward don't need necessarily. I'm not sure if he's going to have Slayers. Okay. Kazador, finish him. Alright, it looks good. Looks like Decisive Low with no casualties, so I will accept. Actually, uh, I forgot to put that on our unit. I think maybe Anti-Infantry would be good on this unit here. It would allow it to just hold and hit more of the extra melee attack. Because these guys are tough, right? I'll do that. Opal Amulet's pretty good. Oath Gold and money. The usual. So with Greasus going over here, that's Get not good. That's not good at all. Greasus he can't reach me. So I will come back here and replenish more. 
And I will recruit more troops. Now, I'll do local recruitment. Alright. Many, many ogre bulls. So many ogre bulls. Now, ogre bulls have low leadership. Not a lot of armor. I like the idea of... Uh, I think blasting charges would be good. Just in the local recruitment. I think they'll be effective. Obviously, cannons are good. But I can't recruit too many of these. Anti-large armor piercing with the halberds could be a solid option as well. Some speed. Pistol ears could be useful against at killing them from a distance as they approach. But they would only really focus on one unit. At, at best, one unit. Could get some arc shots. I'm thinking halberds might be the way to go. Hold them in place for our our miners to toss weapons into, and their anti-large bonus is pretty substantial if I remember it. So they're gonna get some halberds here. We need him to be anti-large. So many large enemies around here. Okay, Brightstone Mine is good. We would like the extra money here for show. Capacity for runesmiths is always good, right? Capacity for Thanes is good too, though. I actually think I want that. I do. That uses up a lot of my money. Pretty all of my money. But that's fine. Alright, so we're just going to push right through with Groth. We're going to get down here. This might be a longer episode. I don't... Oh, oh, leave them be. Continuously leaving them be. Yanni's full. Yanni's full and he's ready. Would I become low reliability if I attack this person? Kind of want to take it and gift it to them. They wouldn't mind military actions against those guys there. How close are we to an agreement? Have you come to pledge me your loyalty? I mean, threatening him could be useful, right? I'm so much stronger than him, but that would again give me low reliability. Based on the comment that somebody had, and I, I agree. I think that is what caused my low reliability there. Um, let's just see what this does. If I was to declare war. Yeah, three turns remaining. Okay. So we can wait a little while for that. No biggie. In that case, what I will do... I want Yanni to come help, so... My anger burns bright. Let's push together. Yes. Through Barakvar. He'll come through. Stone Mine Tower does ha it has walls, so that's good. Bitterstone Mine needs to be worked on. Let's actually... Cancel that for now. Spitterstone Mine can start producing some more money and also walls. I want most of them walled. Thorgrim has moved. We're waiting to go to some pit. Summon me if you dare. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Tough fight here. This is going to be difficult. If Greasus can catch me out, I mean, I'll be nearly fully replenished, but my front line won't be. So, not going to be easy. And I could, I could throw the Goblobbers in there, potentially. I think I will if they get too close and I just need an extra unit. I'm sure I could make it work. I don't even know why Greasus is over here. Where did he come from? You know? Like, they still have a military presence here as well, so I don't know where he even came from, man. There's no settlement over here for him to come from. Anywho, maybe they have a camp that I don't know about? Potentially, but I feel like I would be made aware of that. Anyway, let's look at the missions. Where's Fraltras? Yeah, that's unlikely. Uh, Vlad's pretty likely. I think I'll be able to get to Vlad. But he might off himself before then against Balthazar, although Groth is going to get there, I think, sooner. So I'll accept the Vlad one. Where is Gershon? He's in the Misty Mountain. I don't know if I'm going there. Azubor is at there, and Fraltras is a little bit further north. Let's go with... Uh, we're not going to accept any that I can't complete. 
However, two for Vlad, it's fine. A lot of heroes not moved. Valea's will binds me to you. We do have potential recruitment to be done. No Grungni, so I'm not going to waste the money at the moment. We'll save up some cash. Pretty secure in what we have. It's time to expand. We need to we need to press this area here, the Desolation of Asgore and the Plain of Bones. So as the recruitment happens, we'll make those moves. We're moving on. Yeah, as expected, Grimgore is going to take Howling Rock. That's nothing I can do about that here. Fair amount of damage done to a few units there, but I, I couldn't have done any better, I don't think. So, Groth getting uh, Supervisor's good. With Grimgore being to the north here, it makes me a little nervous about moving life. south with Tekton, so I'm going to move him up that way, towards Crookback Mountain, as I think we're going to need some support in the fight against our enemies up there. We're going to get cannons going now, and then we're going to get Thunderers. I wish I could change this, but I can't, so we have to just hold on there and suppose just wait. I wish I could force march to my lands, man. They're killing me here. They're killing me. So if I go to the edge of this land here, I want to replenish still before going to some pit, you know. Although, it's six. There's only six in the garrison. There's six in that garrison. There's nothing over here, from what I remember. Yeah. We're going to take some pit next turn with Thorgrim. Which is nice and very useful. Very useful. Lots of stuff happening here. I could do that, as I believe we're still trading all of our die. We are. So that's useful, and it will provide us with quite a bit of money. So I'll do it. Okay, Groth. Ready. The time has come. There's a lot of armies here, though, so... Ready to do the guild Remind spending. me of what you can do. Can you block army? Yeah, he'll be a useful scout for us. Not even worth trying that, though. Instead, we'll try and steal tech to get him going. Rank Morgrim Dumb Tamer up. Okay. Or not. Or he uh, had a bit too much grog and has to take a rest. That's fine. Anywho. I think what I'll do is force march this guy. See if Vlad views that as a weakness. Set an ambush for him. Maybe he wants to come and just... He thinks he's just, you know, going to go balls deep into this settlement over here. Meanwhile, he'll die. So... That's what we'll do there. In regards to the rest of this stuff, we finally can get Hasselfrygen in the army. I cannot recruit any other specialty heroes, but let's take a look. Our Thanes, we have a lot of Thanes available, honestly, which would be nice to get in a Thane in the army. Or even just be a scout over here and help help in that regard. Silver Spear needs walls, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get there in time to build the walls. For the wisdom of Valea. Why was I unable to recruit? Oh yeah, I destroyed the settlement or the building. Time for a reckoning. Okay. I fuck, where is uh I'm going to take a quick look and see if Garesis is on any of these missions. Unfortunately, he's not. That would give me an idea of where he is. Because right now, Casador yes. is in a strange position. But I think I can make the most of it. And cause a lot of havoc. And I am going to do so. We're going to give him the Goblobbers. And I'm going to go for the Valley of Horns. Not to take it. Not to hold it. Nothing like that. Carcassonne would be a... It wouldn't be wise to hold that. But just to just to capture it and then move on. Just to throw Greasus off. That's my main plan. Because I know what the auto-resolve looks like for these. And it's, it's quite good. And if I have to rush back to defend Tower of Gorgoth. Although I think I can do that myself. With a nice choke point. But I'm going this way. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. Okay, not a terrible choice. No one tells a if Greasus is here and he can force march to defend, I'll have to run away. Which I believe I'll, I'll be able to, successfully. But I think Kazador's going to cause some trouble in this area here. I want to just fuck with this guy. He's pissing me off. No one tells a Are they all in reinforcement range? I can't tell yet. 
Uh, okay. If I need to, I can go into a camp stance and recruit some, uh, some allied troops. One turn recruitment. Which is good, and we want that. So we're waiting here, we're all set, just double checking all of my armies. Yanni has moved, Groth has moved. Yes, we are ready to move on. Grimgor's here, so he's being scary, right? He's definitely frightening. His army isn't capable of taking on Grimgor right now. Where is the Slayer King himself? I am the Slayer King. I guess in that sense, go for him. Take out Azag, if you're over here. Let you do whatever you want. Still going to be going for that, which is good. At least that'll distract Grimgor, potentially. Only potentially, though. Otherwise, we have a lot of stuff to worry about. The Empire is going to be cleansed, though. That's my number one goal right now, is to uh, follow up with that request. I think it's a great idea. While we continue to push into these lands here and eventually claim this area. So, let's move on. So, Vlad did indeed come. He's denying my reinforcements, but I have a close low here, and I think I'm going to take that, because I know killing Vlad, let's take a look. I mean, 50% missile resist, that's really the best way to kill him as well. Because he would, he would, he would mess with Groth. Groth would, get, sure, Groth has very high melee defense, but it would not be fun for Groth. Bonus first infantry, let's just get these attached to help ourselves out. Explosive damage on organ guns. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with the auto resolve. We'll have Yanni's forces behind all said and done, so Yeah, that's that's extremely effective. Two units took damage. So he's dead. Of golden money. Yeah. Vissenland continuously wants to have a non-aggression pact with me, but seeing as though they're at war with Reichland, they will fall under the banner of Reichland and or die, so that is my intention with them once I get the time to deal with them. They just have one settlement, so there's no reason to rush, but this is going to get declined. Okay, so ambush foiled for Groth, but he successfully killed, uh, well he didn't kill Vlad, but pretty much killed Vlad. We're going to move him in that sort of stance there, press forward through here. If that was an auto-resolve, I'm not worried about any other army coming in and challenging us. Let's see if he wants to run. He will run. No, he won't. He'll die. Yep, he's officially dead now. No real casualties taken. Glittering Scales is an excellent item. And you know what, Yanni? You earned it. You earned it, Yanni. Hold on to that thing. The Rune of Wrath and Ruin is achieved. I, I want him to get Inspirational Leader, right? Like, that is truly important. And we're going into Vampiric Area, so... Cleanse Corruption. Runes. We want both of them to have Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Increase Mobility and break open the casks. Very nice. Anyone else? Yes. Yes. Acquiring Mind, good. Dowie Firepower, good. Let's take a quick look at his army. I want Ironbreakers to be solid. I want them to be solid. This works for Ironbreakers. So yeah, we're gonna make our Ironbreakers solid there. Let us begin! I could sharpen weapons, but I want that first, as there's no other... I could do both. I could do both. <laughs> Ready. No problems there. Alright, so with our Thane, definitely want him to have more hit points. Hang around in the fight longer. This is time. I, w I would say it's all about ammunition, but... Healthy balance there. Okay, can Yanni... Yeah. Okay, this is good. We're gonna slowly move through here. Together, in unison. Lord of Clan Borgrim. And, uh... Be in this stance so that we have the extra melee defense, and then we'll capture Grenstadt next turn. Hold it for a turn to get the replenishment. Look at that, they both defeated Vlad. That's nice. Oh my god, so many ancillaries. I can't even keep up. Alright, one of them needs one that trade master thing, and I believe it's gonna be Yanni. I... Trade, where are you? What is it called? Guildmaster, yeah? Yeah, Guildmaster. Let's give him that. 
Let's give him Sapper. Does not have Slayers. Alright. Well, that's good. Vlad's dead. Look at all that money we just earned from that. Okay, so yeah, Greasus did go here. That's okay. That's okay. If you dare. We can hold on for a few turns, and I think it's time we press this. Decisive low. Yep. Could sack it. I could sack it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna loot and occupy because I don't think I'm gonna hold it for now. It is tier two, but I'm gonna loot and occupy, and then we'll destroy that camp. We're gonna really piss this guy off. Let's keep going down his. Uh, Yellow line. Anyone else got to upgrade? No. Well, it is just Cazador. So we'll destroy this camp. And then we'll press on to the Sentinels and Greasus himself. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, it is fortunate because these are good buffs, right? But I do wish I can recruit some things here. I can. No Slayers. I don't need Firepower. I need Frontline. And of the available front line, would it be better to get longbeards or more cheap chaff? More cheap halberdiers for the anti-large. I think more halberdiers, at least one more, I guess, is the way to go. With some armor-piercing... I don't really need the armor-piercing. Then I suppose with some sturdy front line holders also. And that is solely just to fill out the army. I don't believe they're actually going to stay. Yeah, I just wanted to see what it looks like. We're going to have to hustle over there. I mean, Tower of Gorgoth is not a critical settlement. As you can see, it's not really producing any income. This this bolt, this province was really just like a spearhead. An undeveloped spearhead in that. Let's get that. And then let's increase our capacity for runesmiths as well. Definitely need to utilize my heroes more. But it's not like... Mm. I don't know. Let's see. Alright, well, we do know this. Some pit is ours. That's something we definitely know. I wish it came at a higher tier, but we, we could leave that there. Upgrade it immediately. Great replenishment for Thorgrim. He needs... what does he need? We lost our hero, and he's going to spawn again soon enough. Somewhere in this area, Zagrim will spawn. Gershon has moved in a strange fashion. Not sure where he thinks he's going. What do we want to give him? It's probably more important to recruit with this area. It's probably more important to recruit with uh, Tekton. As he is quickly advancing towards an enemy of ours that is extremely dangerous. Okay. Meanwhile, we have Casador causing havoc. Hopefully these walls can get done by the time they're done with the Tower of Gorgoth. So, even if we lose it, we can reclaim it. In the culmination of reclaiming this entire southern province here. All of these southern provinces. Linking us with uh, Thorax Empire. Send me to vengeance. Okay. Onward. Still have to wait a turn to get Grunstadt. That's understandable. We are now working towards this This as well. Only one more battle, so next turn that'll be done. Don't have time to get the armors or anything like that now. Just don't have time. Greenskin raid can happen soon. Soon. I'm not going to develop any of this land. Casador is just going to cause havoc and occupy so for the sole reason of replenishment. Tekton. Get yourself some Thunderers for high DPS. Alright. I don't have much here. Is there any missions? Yasmin is okay. That is that is interesting. I will accept and we're going to have to press that uh, fucking ASAP. Immediately after recruiting this, we may have to go and get that. Because I do not want her recruiting a large force. Right now, it's just her military presence one. 
So we're going to need to do something there. I have so many allegiance points here. Is it time to build an, out an outpost? I suppose it's Fyldorf. I mean, this is decent stuff, right? I'll do it. I'll do it. With all those allegiance points, we can get anything we want, pretty much, so it's worth it. Okay. Hopefully, Thora can just take the goddamn settlement soon. This is absurd. Like, just do it. Honestly, there might be no rest for Thorgrim. I think we're gonna have to just push into this region and not allow Kazador, Kalador, the Knights of Kalador, not Kazador, to continue to recruit here. I think that's the best play. So, commandment available here. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get, I guess, growth or income from buildings. It's only tier three, so we'll go growth. I know we might want to recruit, but it's not that critical to do that at this point in time. Speaking of... Growth here would be... Oh, well, maybe... Is it good? It'll increase by, what, 40? Yeah, that's... that's that, I mean... It, it won't do too much. We're gonna grow slow regardless. So, if we're gonna grow slow regardless, let's just get more money. This one, however, will leave on growth. We're all tier 3. It's gonna take a very long time to get to tier 4. And there is a decent amount of money buildings here, but not, not too many, so we're fine. Leave that there. Just gonna do some administrative stuff here. For the time being. For instance, Brightstone Mine. That could now be on that. We want 10% more money coming from, you know, both the gold and Brightstone Mine. Okay. Okay, enough chatter. We're moving on. Alright, this is unfortunate. <laughs> we are being dragged into a war against the last defenders in the Order of the Lore Masters. Not something I wanted, but it's something I'm going to accept. I mean, it's the best way to get Thor to join our cause is if he gets weakened by these two. We can maybe get him and then push down south. It's, so we got big wars happening on all fronts. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to end the war. Okay, Zagram's available now. Where did he spawn? Probably over here. Okay. What he's going to do is chase down... For the wisdom kill him. Valeria. What he's going to do is chase down Thorgrim as we move through their territories here. Some pit goes very deep. The runes are cast. And I think we're going to... Should I push Ashridge Mountains first or Bone Gulch? I think Bone Gulch. I'll go Bone Gulch first. We're going to press right here. Scotland. Attack Bone Gulch, occupy it. Next turn. So yeah, their military presence is still one. Which is nice. 16. I think we're going to have to just make our move. Yep, I'm going to make my move against them. Far beneath an archmage. Even the She's not recruiting anymore. That would be six... Yeah, 16. 16 troops total. Garrison's nothing special. Even if we have to dwindle them down, that's something we can do. Let's take care of this guy. Quick and easy, didn't even need to look. Knew it would be a very successful fight. And then they probably moved that way. Where would they have gone? I could continue to mess with his interior. Definitely could. But Greasus is here, so I think I need to continue to press this way. In belts. Likely a... Tr yep. Okay, another camp there. So we're going to want to kill all these camps. As the High King commands. Just going to press as far up as I can. The Sentinels will fall. The Valley of Horns is just like a buffer settlement now. And I think eventually Tecton and Kazador are going to merge on Greasus. Hopefully before he really presses on to our enemies. Grom, really? This fucking guy? Alright. Groth is going to lead the attack. Master of Runecraft. 
Yeah, Groth is going to lead the attack here. We'll move Riani into out. support. It is time. And Groth will attack Grenstadt. Roland over here will fall eventually. Decisive low. Hopefully very low. Yeah, that's substantially low. Super duper low. We'll occupy. Dwarven Tattooist is very good. As we do need to clear corruption. That's nice. Good with me. Let's celebrate. Okay, so... So, so, so... Should we push down his yellow line? Feels like it's about time that we do. Although obstinacy, again, is good. And I'll get it. I'll definitely get that. What do you want? Yanni, however... We're gonna continue to go for the, the uh, inspiring leader trait while clearing corruption. Wrath of... For the wisdom of Ruin. Valeria. Scarred veteran. Some of these are no-brainers. More ammunition. He's gonna focus on buffing the army before buffing himself. Yeah, you're gonna move Zagram. Okay, continue to advance a bit. Setting off. Hopefully Roland comes to uh, what? try and do something stupid. I'm not really sure what he would do. We have... Everything's kind of coming along now. Thorgrim's going to really piss them off. Thoric needs to defend himself, though. There's a lot of shit that can happen down here. Cetra's still pretty strong and not a threat. Our western portion here is looking dangerous. But we need to press this way, and we need to free up the Empire, as you can see. I mean, there's so much... The forces of evil have pushed the Empire against our borders, and it's time for us to help, which we are. Let's finish the walls up at Black Iron Mine, in case we get pushed back too far. With Tecton here, I'm comfortable doing this. The more trade goods, the better. Speaking of more trade goods, the better. That's nice. And that's nice. We'll get walls next turn. We'll, we'll start the process. Alright, this is going to be the end of part 12. The rest of the parts, 13, 14, they may be coming pretty soon as well. But we'll call this point in the campaign the end to part 12. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I also appreciate your patience and waiting for me to upload new content. Uh, peace.